Welcome back, everybody. It's the Bear 465 and today we're still working on our beginner series, our starter guides from Stonewood to Twine, using only the materials, only the schematics, only the survivors and the defenders that we get in the game. But how do you get more, right? You get them by winning them in missions, and you also get them by going into your llama shop. Now, every once in a while, you'll get free llamas, right? Those are awesome. So grab them, right? Over there on the upgrade side, it tells you what all is going to be in this llama. It tells you what's new, what you don't have, right? If you don't have it, I would grab it, right? Especially if it's free. So I would definitely do that. So I'm going to grab all the free llamas for this account. And on the other side is upgrade llamas. Now, many times these upgrade llamas, they will cost V-Bucks in order to get them. So you have to decide, is really what's in them? Is it really worthwhile? Is it really worth the V-Bucks? Now, what I found out of my personal use, I'm not telling you what to do, but anytime there's a people llama where there are survivors that are really hard to get, legendary and mythic survivors, I, I get them. I get them all the time. Um, because you're going to be changing your squads around very, very often. So now this super people llama is worth 1000 V bucks. That's a lot, right? But you do get a mythic lead survivor. So these mythics that you'll get are your pathway to increasing your overall power level, right? So currently we're power level number six. I believe that after I get done with these llamas, I think we're going to be nine, right? Just by getting a mythic survivor, not doing anything else, or mythic lead survivor and not anything else, right? So we have a mythic and we have a legendary. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this. Um, once again, since I'm just starting out, I'm letting the autofill fill my survivor squads, so I'm going to go ahead and let that happen. And I busted through that and it was actually frozen. So I cut that out a little bit. So see it automatically filled my squads with the, that legendary and that mythic. So we'll go ahead and I also got a, another hero out of there and some more defenders. And we have a chance to get another legendary. So hey, I'll just go ahead and grab that sucker too. Um... Also, on your choices, sometimes it gives you choices, you can choose on whether you want that survivor with the health bonuses or trap bonus, whatever bonus it has with it, and you get a chance to look at the bonuses of the heroes that it gives you a choice of. Like, they currently give us a choice of, I think it looks like Stonefoot, Crash, and uh, Harper. So Harper is a really great hero to have in your support staff because it actually, she'll actually increase your trap durability. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one too just because I know Harper is a really good one to get. And the only way you know is by listening to people with experience or actually doing it yourself, right? So, um, and I already have a throwing star um, ninja so for right now, Harper seems to be, Machinist Harper seems to be the best bet. So I'll go ahead and grab that one, and we'll let that one go. And we'll grab Harper. We're going to put her in uh, support staff. So whether you have her as your lead or support, it's amazing. And we have another chance for another Mythic. And I just, I can't let it go. So we're going to go ahead and spend another thousand V-Bucks for it. Just because I know it will increase our power level and increase the overall strength of our hero. Uh, so we get a choice of Teddy or Shrapnel Headhunter. We already have a Teddy hero. So I'm going to go ahead and get Shrapnel Headhunter. She does awesome with um, shotgun, shotgun builds. So if we have a shotgun 
challenge to do, we're going to, I'll use Shrapnel Headhunter with that. So we'll go ahead and choose her. It fills up our squad already. And, oh, I lied. So I thought we went to nine and we went to seven. <laughs> So, your other llamas, you get mini llamas when you finish up your storm shields. And you also, this season, we have pirate llamas. So, you can hit that magnifying glass. And you can pick however many llamas you want to open up. And we'll open them up all, all at once. So much better than, what, than the way it was. It was, it used to be one at a time. And it was very monotonous. So I'm just going to choose, let, let the thing, let it choose for me. And so we've got another hero and some more survivors. Now you also have your item shop. You get the gold by completing missions, right? And you can use that gold to get other heroes. You can use the gold to get other things that you need in order to upgrade your heroes and survivors. One very helpful thing to do is to buy these armory slots. Now the armory slots are how many schematics you can actually hold. So right now I can hold 200. I have 173 out of 200 schematics, right? So that's schematics, heroes, everything. So when you go back into your shop, if there are armory slots available, you want to pick them up right? That way you'll have more spots and you won't be stuck wanting something and not being able to get it. It's not good. Um, oh, we have a survivor here. There you go. Nice. All right. So also in that shop is on the other side. Now this side right here, this will actually reset every single Wednesday. You get perk ups, things to change your perks on your weapons, Flux for weapons and heroes. You use lightning in a bottle and storm shards. And, oh, we have another survivor. Might as well. We're just getting started, right? <laughs> and you're going to use lightning in a bottle and eye of the storm and storm shards and um, drops of rain. You're going to need all of these in order to upgrade weapons and survivors and heroes. So grab them up, play as often as you can, and really get that gold up. So that way um, you can get all that material. The other part of the store is actually all your V-Bucks. So you can get V-Bucks as there as well. All right. So the other thing I wanted to add was the collection book. So in your armory, especially if you have multiple weapons... You, you can, we're going to get into how to perk them up and everything like that later. But if you have multiple weapons, you can actually collect them, put them in your collection book. They're available. You can get them out with using V-Bucks later on. Um, but it frees up armory slots for you. And as you level up your collection book, you actually will get a reward every single level that you, that you go up. Like right now we'll get like a blue schematic and a level 13 we're going to get a lead, a lead, uh, a blue lead, right? So you can do that with all of your defenders and heroes and survivors. If you get multiples of something, you might want to stick them in. Like right here I have two Jonesies. You know, I'll stick one of them in the collection book. That one won't let me. This one I can collect. And look, it's going to give me a reward because I got up to the next level. And I got a blue schematic. Right? So, you know, you can use the collection book um, all you want. You can actually look on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. There's actually a word called more. And you can click more and it will show you uh, which ones are collection books and which ones are not. All right? So it gives you exclamation points for everything that's new. You can see them, highlight them, so that way you can look at all that. So I wanted to help you guys with that. 
And, you know, if you find these starter series helpful, you know, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, look me up when we do our streaming on Monday, Wednesdays, and Sundays. I'd be more than happy to help you out with your missions. All right. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'm going to go through and see what else I can collection book. And uh, see. Oh, we got another reward. Let's see what it is. Wait, don't leave. We're going to get a lead. There we go. We get a blue lead. Nice. All right. So thank you very much for using code to bear four, six, five in the item shop. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm going to go through and click all these. So I get the exclamation points off and have a fantastic day. Bye guys.